Today we're going to go around this scout camper and show you all the little ins and outs full camper setup in hopefully one shot with a little bunch of stops. So the first thing I want to talk about is camper construction. So the 2023s are lighter and have better insulation than the previous scouts. So we're using a, a composite foam that's bonded to an aluminum extrusion and uh, made some changes to that. It's really good. Um, nice earth gray exterior color. And uh, as I mentioned, they're, they're lighter this year and they have better insulation, so that's huge. A new option is the windows in the front nose. Um, they have window shades and a, or they have a blackout shade and a bug screen, so that's nice. And they're the same as the dinette windows. So they're, they're great windows. They open. Um, I've done some videos, you can check out the windows. They're really good. And so before we get too far, let's talk about the basic needs when you prep your truck for a camper. So, on my own truck, I have E-range tires. Mine are actually F, but I, I recommend E-range, which is 10 ply tires, to make sure uh, you're safe while you're driving your, your camper, okay? So one is tires, two is ensuring you have airbags at the back of the truck, and three is a half inch rubber mat in front of the camper. Um, so I did some videos on that. If you have questions, let us know. You can go to scoutcampers.com, check that out. But let's go to the um, exterior side here. Uh, you can't see from here, but this is where the there's an input on the side of the camper so you can run your extension cord to charge your Gold Zero Yeti from right here on this side. There's a little port. Uh, this is my lifesaver jerry can that, that comes stock with the jerry can on the wall inside the camper. I've removed that and put it outside on this bed rail filler um, so that I have running water inside my camper, which I'm using a Dometic Go, which we'll get to in a few minutes. Sure you take it on off but it's really simple just these two things on screw slides off and then you can use it and then at the back here um, i have added a diesel roto pack as we went to the diesel heater in 2023 so this is full of diesel extra two gallons here um, the, the tank on the diesel heater itself inside is 2.75 gallons we'll show you guys that we'll get to the back of the camper um, and on this side here i've added this 90 degree elbow I did a video on this, but essentially with this elbow, you just uh, turn this little lever here, water drains, uh, instead of uh, the old way is like a screw on cap. So this way is a lot cleaner. Um, the other thing here is this option called the bed rail runner. So you see this black bar here, you can attach gear as I've done, and it, it fills the gap between the truck and the camper. So um, it looks really good, looks clean. Plus you can attach up here, you want to make sure you kind of do it in the corners where that's where it's uh, bolted so it's going to have a little more strength in the corners versus right in the middle. Um, but anyways, let's go check out the passenger side of the camper. So we'll walk around this way. Um, you can see on my truck here, I've added um, struts and control arms just to beef it up a little bit more. So that's something if you have a truck you're worried about payload, uh, you can do some things to the front of the, the truck as well just to beef it up a bit more. Um, my truck has some, some customizations. We're getting some new lights, custom bumper, hood, all that stuff, but it's got nothing to do with the camper, just some more things to show you. So then we come to the passenger side of this uh, Scout Kenai, and I guess we'll start with what's in front of me, and that's the propane compartment. Um, it's cold out here today, so it's a little tight. It's a little tight, but uh, two 10 pounds in this one, most are gonna come with one 10 pound tank. And we have an exterior propane connection here for your, you know, your outdoor fire, your outdoor stove, whatever you want. You can hook it up right there. Um, I already have mine hooked up and running for my stove inside. Nice latches, push the button, clips in and out. Again, here's our bed rail runners I showed you on the other side. Um, I have some levelers, so if the, like this spot where I'm at now, if I'm not level, you put the center of the tires to level out the camper if you're worried about that. And then we have a huge storage compartment faster side of the Kenai, nice latches again. I got this thing jam packed. I got, uh, let's open it up. Oops. I don't want to stay today probably because it's so cold, but um, an RV mat, chairs, some firewood, room, stuff like that. Big compartment, can store tons of gear. Um, close that up, super easy latches. Got some disposable recovery 
recovery ports. And then you can see here, um, this is a secondary bracket for your removal capper jacks, which I showed you in a video, but I'll probably do another one to show you these jacks again. Uh, but let's have a look at, so they're just gonna slide in here. Your jack, we'll look at the back of the capper. So the first thing you can see is the diesel heater. Up in the Zargus box. And then uh, a couple of videos on this here. Look, here's my paper I must have left in here last time showing that this top needs to be on an angle. It should be about 30 degrees. Mine is uh, definitely at an angle but could be a bit more. So this is our 2.75 gal diesel tank. Uh, I think sips diesel. I think it's 0.02 to 0.08 gallons an hour, so that's quite efficient and really low. And box looks nice. I got some some wax to polish this thing up to prevent uh, spots on it. Haven't done that yet because it's pretty chilly here, but uh, we'll get there. So let's close this back up. Really easy to do. If you want to fill it, uh, diesel fills right here. Just take the pump. Shh. Handle doesn't get in the way. Uh, we also have our solar light on the top, you can see it at the very top of the camper. And our exterior bracket, which is for the awning. It's also a door stop, and you can hang garbage or other gear from that bracket. Uh, you got your entry handle, and then we will just touch right here on this side. Um, one thing I missed on the, on the other <laughs> so on this side of the camper was the seven-way connection. So this is where your seven ways on your truck is going to plug in. The other driver's side of the camper wing wall here and on this side of this Kenai we also have an exterior solar connection you can't really see it but I have uh, done a video on that to show you guys the new exterior uh, solar panel spot input um, so yeah let's go inside we're gonna jump inside the camper now I'll go in here got a got a nice three-step I'll give my uh, pretty wife a hand to get into the camper here. All right. So the new the Kenai's have a, a larger table this year that I'm sitting at now. And we'll just talk about some of the features. So when we were on the outside, we talked about the windows there, um, the nose windows, which are awesome, so that you can sleep with your head right by the window. I did a video on the portal edge option, but I'll show you again quickly here. This is where the portal edge is stored. And it just slides out like this. And then it will just clip up. Like this. So it's over here. Whoopsies. Just clips up here. And there's two of those. And then you put your cushion down here. Um, and then you're sleeping north south like this. So I'm not gonna play with it too much in this video, but uh, it is an awesome, awesome feature that me and my wife love. Kids can sleep right between us or we can sleep in the dinette bed, but you can see this just slides under stores here, covered up. And then that's the cushions that you'd use to put there for sleeping. Um, in my camper, I have a chargeable fan. So at nighttime, I uh, love a nice fan right I'm gonna show you that quick. Pretty sweet little fan. Turn it on. It's quiet. Got a light on it. That's not attached to the Yeti. So it's a little fan. There's some nice bags in here. Um, we put these nice lights in our camper in the nose. Not bad mm -hmm. for the kids. They like that. Oh, slashing. Turn those off. And then you have your skylight. So skylight's easy to open. Push a button here. Pop it open. I'll just show you how easy this is. Um, I'm gonna leave my shoes on, which is not recommended. Just put your dirty feet on on your bed and stuff. But my wife's giving me a bad look. But I'm gonna pop on the roof here and just show you quick how easy that is to do. Ask me that, Yana. Look. Ugh. All right. So this is the roof camper you can walk on this roof um, cut your one hole in the roof for your solar input here's your solar panel we're gonna go back to the 175 watt energy but this is a 
190 watt go power. So that's the roof of your camper. I have no roof rack. That's the vent for your for your cooking. But uh, easy. I'm gonna crawl back in the camper. Here's my wife again. All right, I'll shut this up. Clipped in, locked, so skylight sounds good. And you can see some things here. We got some nice little pictures, decorations. Um, we talked about the the screens and the shades. So those are really cool to have. And then your window's open, obviously. I'll show you that quickly if you want to see. We're doing it, so we might as well show you. So windows go out. They have different settings. Windows come in. Make sure they're locked up. And then I want some privacy, or some, that's from the bugs, some privacy, but I want some darkness, put these down. Uh, perfect. And then we have our table that rotates, which is great. I'll move out of the way for this, because I want to show you this Yeti. That's my Google here info. Right here. So right here is the Gold Zero Yeti. And uh, I've done, I think, two videos on this Yeti. But this is the plug that allows your truck to charge the Yeti. So there's a 12 volt plug right beside your Goal Zero that this plugs into, just like this, plugs in. And then I have my solar panel charging the camper right now, but it would go right into the front input and that would allow your truck to charge the Yeti via 12 volt line. Um, Yeti's, Yeti's awesome, runs our lights diesel heater, all that stuff. Uh, fridge, I got the plug for my fridge, which I almost forgot to show you. This fridge is awesome. So this is a National Luna 90 liter fridge. Um, super good quality, opens. You got a freezer on this side, which is, you know, good for burgers or hot dogs, whatever. And then you got a bunch of fridge compartments to come out. Um, lots of space. Shut that up. You can tell this thing's this thing's quality. These the campers um, from Scout. The options of the Medic cooler, which is also great. Uh, we just had the Equip crew um, let us try these out, so they're awesome. Love it. Have had no problems with it. Um, and then we got our cooktop. So we got a custom cooktop with the Scout campers. Um, you want to kind of pull things in up a little bit and. Make sure it fits nice there. Oh. Ah, first time today. Um, so this cooktop's custom for the scouts. Um, let's fire it up quick. Two burner. Now you can get different stoves, but we're using a low pressure propane line inside the scout campers, which means if you have your own cooktop, you don't want it to have a built-in regulator or you might not get enough flame. So I'll just turn this off. There's a little trick to this. When you're trying to, you want to lift these things up, fold them in, lift it up again, and then lift this back up. Then it shuts nicely. So if you're having trouble shutting it, just get a little lift and you're good. And then uh, me and my wife, we'll do a little switcheroo here in a second. I just gonna remind you one more time that this table does go down into a bed. So I did a full video, video on this, but right now my kids are, are just, uh, Mini me, so they're like two and four. They can fit here. Uh, this is 80 inches wide, and then you got about 52 inches here before the, the 24 inch bed extensions. So, uh, with the bed extensions, you're about 76 inches. But uh, for my little kids, 52 inches is a lot into like 36 and 40 inches tall right now, so pretty short. But when they do get taller, mom and dad might boot them onto the dinette and let them sleep down here. Um, but I'm gonna switch us around here. So, come over here, wife, and we'll do a little rotation. All right, so we've been doing some, just some testing, some making some modifications, let's call them. We've got like $2 pictures on the wall, just to see how we like them. Um, but they're just, we're just testing things out. Um, I'm just gonna show you quick the diesel heater, uh, which is awesome. <laughs> I'm just gonna show you it again. I think I've done two videos now, but this is so easy. You just touch the screen here, and I've changed this to, I'll, I'll just show you, I'll go here, go to heating mode, external sensor it's on and I'll go home home and I'm in Celsius 
but uh, I'll just tap this button. Now it looks like a cup of coffee with heat coming out of it or steam and then you're going to hear this diesel heat heater fire on and it's going to be nice and toasty in here. In this corner, uh, this is actually the external sensor, I should mention it, this is what's actually going to tell you what temperature it is. Um, here we have a laptop holder, that's going to be for our kids so they can watch a video from bed. Um, kind of wind out for the day and uh, got our nice nice ray eat drink barbecue it's not a bad little tap and motto and uh, we're gonna have a quick look at this sink so I have running water this is my double put that up there stomatic go I have it uh, in winter mode right now because it's it's cold <laughs> it's actually freezing right now so I'll just tap here get my hands a wash I have the, the hose running through my wall disconnected because I don't want it to freeze up um, and then I have my knives and forks and uh, spatulas and everything stored under the under the cooktop in the kitchen space there. And I, I just did a video on storage. Um, there's storage down by the floor. There's a bunch of different little cubbies. We won't touch on those too much right now as we've already done them. But I will show you this. So we'll come over come over here and have a look at the toilet. So I put in, I did a video on this, a custom, uh, this is just a portable toilet in here. Uh, it's not dirty, it's just what happens when you go camping. but little toilet area and I'm actually standing in what we call the mudroom area and you can see on the roof here all these slots for the shower curtain so where I'm standing is where you'd have a shower um, and uh, sorry got a, a funny camera person so um, <laughs> I'm just gonna show you this I got a rinse kit pro this thing's awesome so get you have a look I'll open it up and come have a look at this thing quick and uh, this is going to be our shower. So this thing gets, this thing has a, it pressurizes the water and it heats the water. So I can show you that quick, potentially. Well, I'm not going to at the moment. But anyways, there's a heating rod for it. And then we'll have this thing set up and you have, like, you can have about a five minute shower that drains out of this mud pan at the bottom. Um, and we'll do a video on, on the shower setup after, but today it's freezing, so we're not going to be having a shower with icicles, um, but at the top of this cubby, we have a 12 volt plug to run this rinse kit. It has a battery built in, so if you have it charged, you don't need to have plugged in, but you can plug it into this 12 volt plug at the top of the closet. Um, and just on that note, I mean, I got jackets hanging here, got coat hangers to hang, hang whatever you want. And then we have a, a little countertop that comes down. I got, you know, Kleenex, I'll have some toilet paper, garbage bags, things stored in there, this little area to get ready or or do things. Um, one thing I'm noting right now is the heater fired on and it's warm, but there's two uh, two slots. One, this is the hot air coming in, and there's a second one in the closet, which is the return, so it's, it's cycling the air. So you just wanna make sure that one's not covered. Um, and then I've added some little hooks here, one for obviously the paper towel I showed you, or the, the hand cloth I showed you, and this is just a towel that I use in here. Um, show you this door has the clip on has the clip on cover so I have mine down get a nice views looking a little dirty um, I did measure outside you might have saw that my trucks a little bit dirty the campers a little bit dirty but my overall heights about 124 126 inches so that's like 10 and a half feet um, so I can't fit in the local car wash so I'm waiting till things warm up so I get my water running in my house and then I'll give everything a nice bath um, I think one of the last things we didn't touch on is uh, we didn't look at this solar fan. I, did, I showed another video. Um, it's not a solar fan. Actually, this is wired to the Yeti. So you can turn that on when you're cooking. You uh, used to be a solar fan, but now it's put into the Yeti. So you can turn this on. It's all the smoke and fumes out. Nice custom mirrors that we put in there. And uh, we've got a bottle opener right here at the door. And then I will probably move so that we can just do one little showing of this. Why don't we switch one more time? Actually, I just want to I just want to show. Um, we have these three compartments here that have tons of storage. You can actually take this out if you want, but I got my paper towel, toilet paper, some stuff in there. But there's three different levels. Um, mine on the middle one has the 11 liter storage tank for my uh, Dometic Go, so that I have running water, easy to take out. It's got uh, handles on it, so it's, you can bring inside. You know, anywhere, hotel, whatever, fill it up, bring it back out to the camper. So that's super efficient. And then we have, you know, basic safety things like our propane, carbon monoxide detector, fire extinguisher, things like that, which we hope 
um, are never an issue for you, but um, that kind of sums it up. I think for you know a short, shorter walk around, we hit the big ones, and I'll be doing more videos to show you the rest. So thanks for watching, and have a good day.